Well, ain't she a beaut, everyone? Bodie McBowface with, of course, first mate Mikhail up here ready to go. Mikhail, what are you doing, you crazy guy? We don't need to be doing that, you crazy. We, uh, I don't know what he's doing. He should really be resting right now. Go get some rest, Mikhail. We have things to do today. This is gonna be a great day, everyone. I'm very much looking forward to it. So if you are, make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already, because it's gaming month, everyone. I like to, you know, you, you know, I guess you, rules number one and when you're YouTubing and doing stuff like that, lead people in, get them to stay the entire video, am I right? And I have to say, we're not going to be doing that at all because the biggest change we're going to be making today is going to be right here in the beginning of the video. We're going to go straight out to Lockport. Of course, I don't know where Lockport is, so give me a moment to find it. Is it this one? There we go, Lockport. And what we're going to do, everyone, is we are going to take out a big time loan, everybody. That's right, that's the first rule of life. If you want something, take money out. That way you have lots of interest to pay back. Rule number one of adulting, am I right? So we're gonna take out this big old loan here, which is gonna give us $758,000. And we're going to invest this, you're right, the Ocean Runner, everybody. Our first big boy boat. This is gonna be sweet. Until we can get something awesome like the Ocean Scout here. Mostine, Mostine, which looks insane. We have 63,000 left over. We could probably sell the Lenore. It was a grand vessel, don't get me wrong, but we might make a little bit of money back by selling her. Thank you, Lenore. You were a beautiful vessel, but we gotta make some of that money back. Am I right? I'm thinking nets. I'm thinking nets is the way to go. And we might as well do the tutorial. All right. Bring her forward. Listen to that hum right there, boys. Top notch, everybody. The Ocean Runner on her maiden voyage. Beautiful. I never knew I'd be here. I feel like I should call my mom and let her know. Mom, I finally got the Ocean Runner. And finally be proud of me. All right, before we do all that, I have to take a look at the inside of this thing. Look at this. We got a kitchen area with coffee cups and the cutting board. Beautiful. Beautiful here. Wildlife in Nova Scotia. Awesome. And a phone for looking at talk ticks. Beautiful. We got our laptop over here for gaming. And the poster of some sort. Radio. Nice. Story of Nova Scotia. Travel around the world. Thinking about taking a vacation, perhaps. What do we got? Oh, logbook. We got a logbook here. Sure, a lot of rolled up magazines around here. Maybe we're uh, killing a lot of mosquitoes or something. I have no idea. But we got gut fish station here. We got hauling gear here. What is this bad boy? We don't even know. It's just a mystery, evidently. This is where you set nets off. And what do we got here? Maybe something for lobster or something. I wish we could go in through all these doors, but uh, unfortunately, we're not able to. So yeah, pretty cool. This is the Ocean Runner, everybody. All right, we have finally made it. It's very rainy right now, goodness gracious. But we're gonna get into the little circle here and lay down a net. Jor-El net fishing, thank you. We're gonna be doing this all by hand. No Mikhail right now. All right, we got our net. Pair 75 meter for setting. Oh God, so we gotta start driving now? Oh God, okay, so this is kinda interesting. So we gotta lay out the net perfectly straight if possible. Get the uh, best possible uh, deal, eh? Now we're gonna go pick up our net. That was an interesting little mini game they had with uh, setting the net there. Assign a crew member to the net hauler, all right. Got old Mikhail out, he's gonna help us get the net, net uh, hauled in. Mikhail, are you ready for this, pal? This is gonna be interesting. We've never done a net before. Go pick up a net, pick up a net, pick up a net right now. Look at the Seagulls. Steven Seagulls, amazing. I love, uh, it's, it's amazing how the more you play, the more you just wanna play with the HUD off so that you can just kind of enjoy the beauty. The beauty of this whole scene here, this beautiful ocean water. Just enjoy it. Whoa, whoa, there's a fish. Oh God. Okay, I get it now. I'm with I'm with the program. But you have to be quick. It's it's rather quick in that beginning little slot there. Boom. Oh, there's a cod. Good. I'm curious to how many people can actually get it on the first little time there. 
That, uh, it's rather quick. Like, it just shows up and boom, it's right there where you need to be clicking. But, uh, I'm getting on the way down. It seems to be working okay. Getting some perfects in there. Well, we are getting a range of fish, are we not? Like, it's not like we're setting a bait out for specific fish. Like, we are getting everything that is in the area, that's for sure. And I remember someone telling me about that, so... Whereas we'd be able to just sell all of the one species of fish or something like that. We, uh, we're not really able to do that with this. Alright, so it's got some fish as per usual. Everyone likes the ASMR fish gutting, I know. You've all told me it in the past. Two hours later. Top notch! That was rather easy. So now we have to travel to the, the location on the map and pick up the last little uh, net that they put up. Oh, it's right behind us, okay. Let's go, Bodie McBoatface. We got a freaking net to pick up, bro. This is the first time I've ever considered like getting an engine upgrade. It just feels so slow, but I don't know if it just is slow or if it's just so big that it feels slow. All right, another net. I am amazed with how much net you have to haul in before you actually get to the fish. Oh, we can hit... Oh, so we can actually... Okay, so I had the HUD off so I wasn't able to see that you could actually just left click to start it. That's hilarious. Okay. Big old cod. Ah, so many goods, bro. There's a lot of cod. I'm very surprised. It must just be because of the tutorial or something. Time to gut some fish. I'm so good at gutting fish. Ooh, big fish, man. Talk about perfect gutting for the cod, bro. All right, making it back to port. Let's take a look at these. Uh, oh yeah, baby, let's go. Look at all them lights. We're looking very professional. All right, we're gonna back this puppy up port side. I mean, obviously. And then we're gonna dock so we can sell some of these fish. I'm not sure if this is the best place to sell them or not, but we're gonna get a quick 40,000. I don't really care. Uh, it seems like cod's really the only good price that's here, but that's that's fine by me uh, for the tutorial stuff. But I tell you what, we're gonna go set out some lines and stuff, or not lines, I guess they're nets now. We gotta sell the nets um, and make back some of this loan as well as make some upgrades to this old boat here. But it's really cool to have the Ocean Runner. We obviously need to make some pretty uh, good changes here. Yep, that'll do. Bodie McBoatface, thank goodness. Back to normal. And uh, we're also going to make some upgrades to the, let's see, we need to make upgrades to the sonar, um, as well as the storage. Storage is going to be huge, so we're going to make sure that we have plenty of room for storage, because that's how we're going to make a lot of our money. But we need to make sure that we have very good sonar as well. 1.3, my goodness gracious. That's, 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 that's some good stuff right there. I guess we will. We'll go all out. I don't even care. I, I don't even care. Um, we're, we're gonna deck out this Ocean Runner whether we want to or not. We can get a gutting machine now? Mikhail's gonna be so excited about that. He's probably gonna miss being able to stab the fish though, probably, don't you think? Side thrusters. Adding side directed thr thrusters. Oh my god, seriously? Alright, well, I'll make sure we get all those. My god, 134,000. Goodness gracious. And by sell nets, we need to sell our three or four. We have four? Where did we get four? And then we need to buy... How many nets can we get? 30! Oh my gosh. Oh no, did we just buy... Oh no. We just bought 3075. I don't want that. Ah, oh, gross. We just lost $4,500. Oh my goodness. So much money. So much money. But we're going to have a ton of money to go out and do that. 90 thousand dollars for another 300 horsepower goodness gracious i don't know if it's gonna be worth it right now i just don't i'll think about it i'll think about it but for now i tell you what we are looking pretty sweet on the ocean runner Bodie mcboat face i'm looking forward to it mikhail you looking forward to it buddy he's standing there he's ready to go plus we got our uh, fish gutter there Watch out, little boat. Stupid, why would you stop right there? We're trying to get places. Got our little fish gutting station, which is gonna be sweet. Can't can't wait to give it a try. And we're gonna go get some fish. So hopefully... Ooh, 
Ooh, uh, oh hey everyone, it's Bo from the future. Yeah, as you can see here, we just laid out a ton of nets. But of course, I didn't have a very good transition from upgrading our newest Bodie McBoatface to, uh, to here, I guess, putting out nets for fish. So I thought I would say all this right now. Hopefully you're enjoying the video, I, I would hope. But we're going to jump forward to when I was laying these nets, and then we'll come right back to now uh, to pick them all up. So, huh, we're see you in a bit. We're setting out some lines, we're setting out some lines, setting out some lines right now. Yeah, got lines out, 120. There's a lot of redfish right there, Mikhail. A lot of good stuff right there, bud. All right, let's keep on going. A lot of good stuff right here. We're right where the redfish ought to be. So we are just gonna keep on. Should we keep, should we just keep putting out nets? We got so many of them, Mikhail, we might as well. I guess we have to wait till we're uh, spread out a little bit more. Then we'll start putting out more nets, bro. Yeah, we got nets for days. Nets for days. Nets for days. There are a ton of fish on the radar, though. Trying to move out of the way. Look how many fish are on the radar. You can't even tell. There's more than. There's more on the radar, the sonar, than what you can even see. My big body's covering it up. Yeah, there's a ton of fish down there, so hopefully these nets will be full, full. My goodness gracious, this is net number three. <laughs> and I'm already like, holy crap, this is taking forever. There is a ton of fish though, so I'm I'm really excited to see how much how much money we haul in from all these fish. Mikhail, I feel like we're gonna need to get a compadre after this. This might be more than just you and I can handle, if you know what I mean. Between a bank fishing guy from Kansas and an ex-Russian mobster, I think we might need a third person. <laughs> Numero four. Couldn't have asked for a nicer morning, though. It is just a beaut out here, everyone. My goodness. All right, setting out net number 10 right now, and the number of redfish is really kind of dwindling down. Not too many of them, not as many as there were beginning there. So I'm thinking we might be right on the edge of where they are. Um, so we might finish this 10th uh, net, and then, not really sure. I was, I was considering before I noticed that the sonar wasn't really showing too many fish, which you can't really see very well anywhere. Yep. Um, I was thinking about putting out 12 different buoys. Now, I'm not quite sure. I also think this is going to be, now that I'm like taking a look at everything, I think this is going to be rather long with just me and Mikhail. It's going to be very hands-on, I guess. I feel like having a third person would have been very helpful. So I actually picked this up watching another person's video. I can't remember what their darn name was at the moment. But uh, they kind of like talked about making like a plus sign. You find like where they are. So that's what we're going to try to do. We're going to go across right now and lay down another 12 nets. Hopefully get even more fish. And then I'll put this in the back of my mind, get a second or third person and never do it like this ever again. <laughs> I tell you what, I've never quite noticed this before, but the current is going uh, like uh, north to south right now, and it was rather easy laying down the nets when I was actually heading south, or at least you know mostly south. But now that we are heading east, it is it is a bit more difficult to lay these lines just because it keeps rocking you back and forth, and you have to kind of keep up with the with the current. It's kind of interesting, you know. I never, I guess that just never hit me in my mind, but it makes so much sense now. Now that we're getting closer to the uh, main line here, you can see the number of redfish is really increasing. Getting a lot more to show up on the sonar there. Alrighty, everyone, back in the future. We're right here, we're waiting for, uh, I guess, the first couple hours so that we can pick up our, uh, our newest our newest nets, everybody. Where's the clock? Let's move forward a few hours and see if that changes anything. The nets there, and nothing so far. Okay, we'll wait some. Just wanted to, uh, just wanted to try a little bit. What we got? Anything? Oh, they're green. They're green. They're starting to get there. Alrighty, so that was 12 hours, correct? So this ought to be good. Huh? It took me a while to lay all these nets, so I know it's gonna be not exactly 20, but you know, fair, fairly enough. Let's start picking up these nets. I feel like Mikhail, Mikhail, my friend. Oh God, Mikhail's probably tired. You're probably tired, Mikhail. 
Well, we're gonna pick up as many nets as we can before Mikhail gets too tired, and then to see what we can do, everybody. Yeah! Let's go! Let's haul some fish! Red fish. Red fish is up first. Let's go. Yeah. Ooh, gotcha. Another red fish. I expect to see a lot of red fish. So we're doing good so far. A lot more red fish than anything. I did see mackerel. I believe I also saw silver hake. I saw a few swordfish and tuna, but I don't think they'll be uh, allowing us to catch any of that uh, in these nets. So the majority should be redfish. And I'm, I'm not I'm not sure if I hate this right now or if i um, much rather have uh, a crewmate do this in the future. But I am killing the perfects right now. Eight perfects in a row! Good! Get on my level! We're freaking, freaking killing it out here. A buoy a numero dos. Get it, Mikhail. Get that freaking buoy, bro. Yeah! Killing it, killing it. Redfish again, redfish again. Oh, 11 in this net. Oh, just good. It's okay. Yeah, I like it. Killing it. Ah, oh, there's a mackerel. Okay, okay. I'll be quite honest right now. I'm a little worried, given that we've picked up three nets so far. And we've already brought in 30,000, nearly half of our, uh, of our hole. I, uh, not hole, but our storage area. It's filled with fish right now, and we've only brought in three nets. This is gonna totally change the way... Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Get it, Mikhail. Yes. It's gonna totally change the way I'm gonna do this, I guess. Fifteen fish in this net? I'm killing it, bro. It's very ballsy to do this from the very start, you know, as it's going up, but I've started to get better at it. Get a lot more goods than perfects, but I'm not sure if it's that much faster either. If I miss it, then I just wait. Pretty much if you just wait for it to pop up and then click, it's usually there, ready to hit the perfect. As your eyes, like, set 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 your eyes on it like on the screen you just click usually like right in the money spot doing pretty good doing pretty good okay so this is number seven i believe it's either seven or eight and i have a feeling it's like the last one we're gonna be able to do for current i say current but at the same time like it's like the best storage we can get with this vessel. So I really thought that it would be a lot. But at the same time, this is the first time I've done nets, and we caught a ton of fish. A ton. So I'm very confused, very confused. Every time I think I have the storage figured out, then fishing North Atlantic throws another wrench into the, to the net, the net grabber thingamabob. We're killing, bro. Still got it, I still got it. But look at this freaking mackerel. It's like, it's like one of like four fish that I've seen that aren't red. Good deal. Okay, that's, that's it. Wow, that was number seven of 24. Of 24. So we would be far better, it seems, putting out, putting out, um, nets. So this is another thing I'm curious about. Can we put, McKay, who's already tired, does he have to be, is it a two person job? and that's it? I think it is. I think it is a two-person job. What do you... I don't know. What do you think, Mikhail? Not giving me any... Uh, can I not... Oh, so we can't even do the machine? Like, we literally have to have two people to do the machine, too. Wow. Okay. Now we're learning all sorts of stuff today, everybody. Well, we'll see how many hours go by coming back to port. I have a feeling that all of our nets, yeah. Dang it, man. All of our nets are gonna go, unless, no, nope, yep, they're all gonna go bad. Dang it. Dang it. Second time this has happened to me. I don't know why I always go all in. I just have like the highest hopes that everything's gonna work out correctly, but then it doesn't. It doesn't go correctly. Boop, 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 boop. Doc, 
All right, so we don't want to sell our stuff, but what we do want to do, see if there's any good crew members available, because it sounds like we just need to have crew members available just to even skin them, or like gut them, I guess. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nora Ross here. Look at her net hauling skills. 12. Not bad. What is it, out of 20? Cooking's not bad either. She could cook for us. You know what? I think that's what it's going to be. Emma, okay, Nora. It's going to be Nora and Mikhail, our crew. It's the crew of Nora and Mikhail. They're, she's not great at um, she's not great at machine gutting. Though Mikhail's good at machine gutting. Look at you, Mikhail. I'm not. Stop. How much do? You, how much do you just go up? Doing it. That's what I need. I need. I need good machine gutting. Is what I need. All right. Let's get back in the boat. Gut these mother truckers, and we'll find out what what's in store for us next. I guess. Oh, this is riveting. It's absolutely riveting. All right. So evidently, Mikhail was doing the gutting because. Yeah, it just doesn't look like he, he you can do a one man gut job, I guess, with this machine. Unfortunately, you just can't do can't do it yourself. So, all right, interesting. Let's see what we got here. We've got 21, yeah, 21k of gutted fish out of six. Yeah, okay. So let's give him an hour and see how long that takes. Okay, one hour underway, 27,000. Two hours, good. Gutted fish, 76k. One more hour, I think they'll have it. And finally sell every. All right, we good? Just about anyway. Just about. They're very, very close. Very, very close. 82,000 out of 85. 85. Uh, I have no idea. I, I have no We're gonna sell it. $129,921. Making bank. Making bank. Making bank. Making bank. Making bank. Making, making bacon. Making bacon. We're making the bacon. You need the bacon? I'm making it. All right. Top notch. That's pretty good, I guess. That's pretty. It stinks that we lost all of our other nets. So next time, we're going to put out seven nets, bring them all up, put out another seven nets, and then go back, come for, come back to the spot. Hopefully they're there. We could probably keep that going. Who'd hope? I don't know. I may regret doing this, but I am going to get the engine. It's just far too slow. We're just very, very slow. I feel like that might help. I don't know. I don't know for sure, but I feel like it might help. Oh, baby, we're moving now. Oh, yeah, that 300 horsepower really helped. We, I feel like, I feel like it, we're cruising. We're cruising pretty quickly. And not only that, but like we had some get up and go when we started going, boys. Nice. That's awesome. Ugh. Worst fears have come true. It took too long. It took too long to get all the way back here. I'm kind of worried that it's going to be too long just setting them and going back, too. Ugh. Decisions, decisions. These nets did cost me like 18,000 to buy them. So I feel like I should pick them all up. Anywho, it's a hard lesson, but it's a lesson that needed learned. Isn't it, everyone? Anywho, I think that's going to do it for this episode for real. Um, and then we're going to uh, maybe get back into it if if you're interested. If you are interested, make sure you comment down below. Let me know. Uh, like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to join us on our live streams every Monday, Wednesday, 730 9 30 p.m central make sure you do so everyone but until the next episode take care and as always remember everyone we're one planet one family game on